the model that has come out of this research project has been the idea of marrying two different aspects of stormwater pipes, inspection and repair. What the department would like to do is provide consistent inspection on all pipe installation projects associated with construction and then be able to transition over to repairs uh, if necessary for any defects that are found during the inspection. We want to make sure that our inspection process is consistent and if defects are found we want to make available to contractors and engineers in the field a menu of acceptable repair options that are available to them. And by acceptable repair options I mean repairs that have been researched by the department uh, that are made of good materials and that can be installed quickly and easily with the goal being that the repair will last for at least as long as the pipe itself. Uh, we have to make sure that we have a scientific based model that tells us how it will behave long term and the efforts of this office, the materials office, is to make sure that it will last a hundred years. Some of the surprising findings uh, that really came out of the research were we went to document specific sites where repairs had been made and could not find the repairs. Uh, that's always a little bit trying for the researchers in the field. But what that's done is help us to focus our efforts on making sure that we have a very extensive, good database for the types of repairs that are being made as well as their locations so that our asset maintenance folks in the maintenance office can readily find the repairs and have sort of a road map uh, to where these repairs are located so they can check them from time to time. Uh, basically what this does is uh, you put the machine in the pipe, uh, it, gets, it, start, it reads out any type of uh, joint problems that you have once it's been laid. Uh, it does deflection, uh, pipe video deflection um, and the plastic pipe. Not too much deflection in concrete pipe due to the fact that uh, if there's any type of deflection in a concrete pipe, you'll see a break or crack. Um, we'll make note of that on the, the machine and uh, then we'll fix, we'll, we'll fix it as need be. To give you a little bit of, of, of an idea of the magnitude of the amount of pipe that the state of Florida puts in the ground, uh, in the past six years since the implementation of post-installation inspection, we've, the state of Florida has put approximately 2.9 million linear feet of pipe underneath our roadways as a result of construction projects. Uh, also, in addition to just installing that pipe, we've inspected that same number. So we have a tremendous amount of data, both uh, video camera data as well as our laser profiling systems uh, on the pipe inspections themselves. We've really gone through uh, a very sophisticated process to inspect the installations of, of the pipes that are occurring in the field. We want to make sure that we continue to stay on the forefront by advancing uh, the entire concept of post-installation inspection and acceptable pipe repair materials and methods so that we have a good level of comfort with the pipes that are underneath our roadways.